you know, I don't think I'm any different than anyone else. It, it's, I think it affects everyone. I don't think you can find anybody in this country who cancer hasn't affected them or their family in some way. I mean, currently my mom uh, has colon cancer and she's fighting that right now. Um, and then we've also had some other people in our family. And uh, I just think it's kind of cool that college basketball coaches got together, you know, years ago. It started with Coach Valvano, somebody that I never had the chance to meet personally, but somebody that I always studied, especially when I was a younger coach, his teams and how he coached and how he lived his life. And then having to work with uh, Coach Knight all those years, he had a lot of stories about Coach Valvano and um, everything that with his story. So, you know, just to get back in a small way, uh, just to more than anything, just recognize everyone around us that's struggling um, with cancer or somebody in their family having cancer. It's kind of cool to give back. Um, I lost my uncle Daryl to cancer, and I also lost my father to cancer. Uh, when he, was, he was diagnosed with kidney cancer when I was a senior in high school, and uh, he, about a year later he passed away from it when I was a freshman in college. And it's uh, just one of those things. Hello, uh, cancer has really affected my family. I lost a very cro close relative. She really wasn't my relative, but I grew up up under her. She was my godmom, Kim Baptiste. You know, she's been gone for some years now. She might have been my high school coach. She was still living. She was coaching, and you know, she's a member of my church. My dad was her pastor, so it's, it has affected me badly. I I think it's really it's really important for everyone to be aware of cancer because it's one of those things where I think it's oversaturated a little bit and everyone knows about it and everyone knows someone with it and it becomes almost like we're used to it and we so every year we try and you know, do the coaches versus cancer where we wear our shoes and it, it's a little thing that people notice uh, just wearing tennis shoes and it, it still raises awareness though because people realize hey you know it's I everyone it still knows about it and uh, we still haven't found a cure yet and it's just it's got to keep grinding and try and find one. It's important you know just to let people know that we're out here, we're out here to help people uh, that has cancer, you know, just to stand a helping hand if, in, if they need anything. No question, like just amongst our team, uh, while preparing for this, we just had a little dialogue in the locker room talking about it, and it's, it's amazing. Everyone in there has either a relative or a friend or even a, a parent that's had cancer or maybe even has passed away because of it. So I think for some of the younger guys, it's just kind of eye-opening uh, to understand that, you know, it's not just something that happens to the people you see on TV. It's something that's in everybody's lives.